friends, how are you doing? This is Tiara Ghar, welcoming you back to my channel, which is all about life, but nothing in particular. <laughs> well, how many times have you heard this particular phrase? I do not expect this from you. Or, wow, I do not expect this from you. You have surpassed all expectations. Yes, friends. Today, we are going to talk about expectations. So what do expectations really mean? If you ask me, I would rather say that expectations are something which is a predicted outcome or a predicted behavior of someone. It could be from my own self or someone I'm interacting with. So basically, it's something which essentially has got something with the past and also with the future. Where do expectations come from? Expectations are nothing but something which we really want to happen or we know that this is going to happen and we are more or less pretty sure about it. The moment I talk about this kind of a definition, it really sounds pretty vague, doesn't it? But then, expectations are so real. And don't you think, because of expectations, a lot of problems, a lot of situations arises in our day-to-day -day lives? Sometimes our expectations are met and sometimes they are not met. And somewhere, our happiness, moment to moment, joy, that kind of gets affected because of our expectations being fulfilled or not fulfilled. Friends, a number of our relationships get affected because of expectations, be it in our family lives or in our relationships which deal with our co-workers, friends, relatives, and the entire community. But friends, what if we had a way that we could actually manage expectations? Why I'm saying about the word managing of expectations is just to make it easier for all of us to understand. We need not manage expectations. We just need to manage how we view each other as. The moment we realize that each one of us, me, you, and everyone we interact with, is right from his or her point of view, wherever that person is currently standing, the problems or the issues related to expectations, they'll just vanish. And there's gonna be a lot more harmony in the world specifically in your own heart we're all learning we're all growing right and we all have our perceptions because we all have pasts right and we all have our stories so it's only natural that we are going to have some perceived notions about a number of things including that that are included in our lives but friends, we are all social animals, human beings. We are all part of some community or the other. So which essentially means that there are going to be interpersonal relationships happening. We have to interact with people. So how do we manage expectations? The only answer here is to really understand and change our attitude towards how we view ourselves and the other person. Let's talk more about that. Let me give you an example. Say you are with a client, you're sitting at a meeting and you are having this important decision, a business decision to arrive at. So you have something to say and you know that the person whom you're dealing with also has something to say. 
so when you start communicating if you have a kind of some expectations within yourself from the very beginning you will never be really able to participate in that discussion with an open mind so number 1 please keep an open mind practice this in all of your relationships in all of your interactions without an open mind you will neither be able to speak your truth neither will you be able to listen and accept the other person's truth right number 2 appreciate yourself wherever you are appreciate the other person wherever he or she is whenever the feeling of appreciation comes for yourself and the other person in the same moment respect for self and the other person they it increases many fold have you seen how you know in minutes some discussions are happening between you and your client or someone you uh, someone you know and you in say any kind of you know personal relationship as well have you seen that there are some times when things just goes go with the flow and they just happen so beautifully and then both of you you come to a particular decision or that discussion closes so amicably and so beautifully with both of you agreeing to something the same thing or it sometimes may happen that you might not be agreeing or you might not be having the same thing in your mind but you appreciate the other person's point of view so well and you you have such an open mind to that that you accept that particular communication within yourself understand it analyze it in your own brain with, with the respect for your own self as well you just happen to strike a deal number 3 adopt a win win policy see you don't have to really go ahead and you know tell people i want you to win i want you to win i really want to see you win and be happy somewhere you might be unknowingly disrespecting yourself and compromising at the same time you don't want the other person to compromise to whatever you have to say that's also not right that person has got his or her needs as well you have to come to such a such an understanding that both of your expectations and his or her expectations are met in a common ground where you can understand that it is not a compromise that you are doing but you are just helping yourself and the other person win and when you actually you know go to a particular discussion with this particular attitude you know in your heart and mind there is no reason why a solution is cannot be achieved number 4 learn to say no and learn to hear no sometimes your interactions with people might lead to disagreements and that's perfectly fine your perception and the other person's perception might not always be the same right and i think it's only normal it's natural for two people to have different set of opinions about the same thing so if you're speaking your own truth then it's absolutely okay for you to say no to something which you do not want but at the same time it is absolutely okay for the other person to say no to you because that is something which is not as per his set of expectations number 5 learn to speak your truth please i cannot stress enough on this particular point you have to be honest with yourself 
and the people who you're dealing with. I've seen in my own life and in the life of others, there are so many such relationships that don't even happen the way they are meant to, the way they are meant, the way they are meant to grow, just because the two people, they don't maintain that level of truth among themselves. Just speak out what is in your heart. Just communicate. Be open. Be free. And I'm not saying that you'll have to, you know, blindly trust people. I'm just saying about speaking your truth, meaning you will really have to be honest about who you really are, what you really want, and what kind of people you want to deal with, and the expectations that you have from yourself and the others. And if you keep in mind the previous four points which I have mentioned, your relationships are really going to be something which are going to be an opportunity for you to grow. Not just for you to grow, but you will be helping the other person also to grow in their own way. Right? So please be open and communicate about your truth. Any problems, any type of issues that you might be facing, I think it's very important that we speak them out to the people who really matter to us and with whom we are interacting on a daily basis, whom we really need to interact with. These are our people, these are the people who are really very close, um, could be family members, could be you know relatives, friends, or even your co-workers. So I think you know more than 50% or even more, around 80% of the problems that is related to expectation setting that gets just deleted only because of this last and final point. Speak your own truth. Be clear about yourself. Be clear about who you are. Be clear about what you want. So friends, here's a quick recap of whatever we have learned. So the first point is keep an open mind. Second, Appreciate yourself wherever you are and wherever the other person is. Number three, adopt a win-win policy. Number four, learn to say no and also to hear no. And number five, learn to speak your own truth. So friends, before I take your leave, I would talk to you about a little exercise which kind of helps me. So this exercise is pretty simple. You'll just close your eyes and imagine at the center of your forehead, on top of your, in the middle of your eyebrows, imagine there is a door which is closed. Now, imagine that you're opening the door slowly. And the moment you open the door completely, inside there is a bright white light that you can see. This is nothing but your exercise of an open mind. Whenever you go out and have a talk with someone, could be anybody, just imagine this open door. This is definitely going to help you to understand your mind as open truthful, honest, accepting and most of all immensely, immensely powerful. Always remember your happiness lies in your own hands. Don't allow wrong kind of expectations or even the right kind of expectations to ruin beautiful relationships that can help you learn and grow. Right? Thank you so much, friends, for listening to this. I hope this really helps you. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated about more such videos. I hope you have a great, great, great life ahead. Stay happy. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.